Hi, I'm Serge Su and welcome to Mac Studio 8. In this episode, I'll be showing a demo on how to use multiple displays in Mavericks. The procedure and hardware used for connecting an external 1080p display and an Apple TV display to a Mac can be found in the description below. Now for the demo. So, let's get started. After making the necessary connections as described in the description below, open the Displays Preferences window by clicking on the AirPlay menu next here or from the dock, launch System Preferences and click on the Displays icon. From the Displays Preferences window, you can arrange the displays the way you want by dragging the blue box anywhere you want. Also, you can choose which display you want to make primary by moving the menu bar shown here to the required display. When working with multiple displays in Mavericks, each display behaves independently of each other. Each occupy their own spaces or desktop. Clicking on the individual desktops makes the menu bar active and moving the mouse pointer in the downwards direction unhides the dock. You can even assign different wallpapers for each display, move windows from one display to another or launch and work with apps in full screen on each display as shown here. Mission Control has been supercharged for multiple displays in Mavericks. Let's just load a few windows and full screen apps, then launch Mission Control by either pressing F3 or the keyboard shortcut Control up arrow. Now arrange or move windows and full screen app spaces to the required display. In Mavericks, you can also connect an Apple TV to act as an extended desktop. On the Apple TV, navigate to the AirPlay option as shown here, then turn on AirPlay. Once that's done, on the Mac, click the AirPlay menu led shown here and select Connect to AirPlay Display, then select Apple TV to make the connection. Again, using Mission Control, move any desktops or spaces to the Apple TV. Incidentally, I found no lagging present when using an external display connected via a Thunderbolt to HDMI cable, unlike a small lag when using the Apple TV. Therefore, watching videos, photos and basic file viewing, the Apple display is ideal for that. But for doing any serious video or photo editing, the Apple TV display is not suitable. That's all there is to it. Working with multiple displays in Mavericks couldn't be more simple. Thanks for watching and thumbs up if you like this video. And please don't forget to subscribe to be notified of the next episode. Thanks and peace.